Okay. All right. Hello, board members. Welcome to the head. Hey! I'm Vanish Kachadurian, a proud Fresno High Warrior alumni. It has come to stakeholders' attention that during a lawsuit, individuals are systematically destroying our Iroquois images on Fresno High campus. This is contempt of court before the judgment is rendered. It is an act not only against our local judicial system, but against our federal protection laws, so written in Congress by Resolution 331. As a stakeholder and proud American with Choctaw roots on my mother's side, I would like to address the significance of our Iroquois images protected under federal law and now Fresno High and how it is a national treasure. In 1889, Fresno High selected the Iroquois Nation as our proud symbol because of their presence, contribution, to the U.S. Constitution. Did you know that? You should. Based on Iroquois law, it was constructed in 1789. The principles of democracy and diplomacy, as well as fair commerce and trade, were contributions of the Iroquois nation. Today, you will meet a descendant of the Iroquois nation. Iroquois were highly sophisticated, had a system where the females were as revered as the males. In fact, in Washington, D.C., atop our U.S. Capitol, sits our Iroquois princess, federally protected Iroquois nation. Every American is a stakeholder in our beautiful Iroquois, as all men and women are created equal. And those Iroquois women, I hope I can say this, they were badasses, just like you. You're all warriors. You wouldn't be sitting there if you were not warriors. Congressional Resolution 331, in honor and recognition of the Iroquois nation, is federally protected. I have some extra copies if some of you would like to see this. We stakeholders ask you to please cease and desist the cultural genocide of the Iroquois federally protected statues and images. I would suggest you also try to get this book. It's called The Iroquois Diplomacy in the Early American Frontier, How They Shaped and Molded Our Constitution. And those women, they put together a commerce system. The women fought right along the men, and they selected the chief. That's why her presence is shown above the Capitol. She also did the naming rights to her kids. Okay? Like I said, each one of you are warriors. We may not agree on what you fight for, but you are a warrior. You wouldn't be sitting there. Okay? Thank you very much, and please. Wait till after the lawsuit is rendered a judgment before you start taking and chipping it away. Thank you. Thank you. Nicholas Dodson.